Dopest community was popping, was popping. Hopefully you guys been listening to the other two videos and you follow me to part three. We already released part one and two this Wednesday. It's all here. So y'all make sure y'all check out one through one through three. That's about an hour of like, you know, three reactions. And I hope you guys enjoy because I know some of you guys like just watch them, you know, all together and everything. So thanks for all love and support, man. I've been digging this album so far. Like I said, we listened to like the majority of this album already but the songs i haven't heard to me are fire you know what i'm saying um dead man's trunk like i said i think i heard it before but i don't remember it so dead man's trunk and um what a great day to stay indoors are the two that i've not heard nor did reactions to on the channel this one now today l2i we actually did do a reaction to that and we did a reaction to, um 10 tool man taylor and these three, we done the reaction to all three of these. So y'all make sure y'all check those out when you guys are done with this video if you have not seen it, man. But let's get right into L2I, man. Some more up peak, like, I don't know, like up pace song. And it's produced by Fleece. So let's go ahead and get it. Love you guys. Eye to eye, power lie, lie. I want to fly, let me grab it, never lie. I want to get away somewhere out of sight Maybe just then everything will pan out alright It's a hundred packs, smoking blood roller creeping up behind you Thought I'd knock you off on the off chance that I despise you Not want to be lied to, quick to press rewind you End up where you were before your birth, now don't you cry You already on 10, bitch, so don't aggravate Up to here's where I've had it, great, nothing nice with you skate I will locate on my pain, corral it into my pain Push that up into my brain not engaged. So bad, rare drop. Every time we drop shit, you need props like carrots. I can get your wits about ya. Every single atom that is me will say it doubts ya. Looking around at humans like this place should be better without the ya. The whole scene is a disgrace, rather distaste. For to say the least, I do the most to get paid. I know money's needed, but what happened to the days? The same fuck these labels too. I hope they pick me. I hate to see potential being flushed down the drain. The natural selection is beautiful when you wait. We just self out, bitch. We just self out. Such to the death of us. Alright, so that right there is L2I, another hard track from Bones where he's like He's in that rapping bag, man. He's really dropping bars and he's dropping life, you know, life hacks and everything as well, man. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, so he's like L2I, power line, live. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, if you step on the power line, you get electrocuted. He was like, I want to fly. L Lenny Kravitz never lied. You know, Lenny Kravitz reference and everything. I want to I want to get away somewhere out of sight. Maybe just then everything will pan out all right. Like, if I'm out of the way, maybe everything will make sense. Maybe I'll be able to cope with everything. It's a 100-pack smoking blunt roller creep up behind you. You know what I'm saying? It's the 100-pack smoking blunt roller creeping up behind you. You know, he's describing himself and he's walking up on you from behind. Thought I'd knock you off on the off chance that I despise you. Not wanting to be lied to. Quick to press rewind. You end up where you were where you <laughs> you end up where you were before your birth now don't cry and i like how he does this with the U's. you know what i'm saying like so he's like he's like a hundred pack smoke blunt roller creeping behind you thought i'd knock you off with the chance that i despise you not to be lied to quick the press rewind you end up where you were before the birth now don't you cry you always on 10 bitch so don't get aggravate you know so don't aggravate you know like i like how the, it's hard to explain the way he structured his bars as I'm reading it. It's really creative, man. So he's like, already on 10, bitch, so don't aggravate. You know, I'm already on, on 10. When you're on 10, that means you're like you're ready to go from 1 to 10. You know what I'm saying? He's already already on 10, bitch, so don't aggravate. Up to here is where I've had it. You know what I'm saying? I had it up to here. Up to here is where I had it. Um, Great, now thin ice what you skate. You know what I'm saying? So he's saying, I'm on 10. I've had it up to here with you. You're skating on thin ice. He's giving you all the warnings right now. I will locate all my pain corral into my veins, push that up into my brain. Danger mode is now engaged. You know what I'm saying? So everything's going on. Like he's tapped into focus. He's about to do what he has to do. And it's like, you know, when you're in danger mode, you know, that's that fight or flight stuff. And he's obviously choosing a fight. Um, soul bound, rare drop. Every time we drop shit, we need props like Carrot Top to get your wits about you. You know, Carrot Top, the actor, dude with the red hair, the um ginger dude. Um, every single atom that is in me will say it doubts you. Looking around at humans like this place would be better without you. You know what I'm saying? So we already know Bones doesn't really like ha humans for real. You know what I'm saying? Like he feels like humans destroy the environment, you know, and he loves the environment. So it's obvious, you know, why he feels the way he does. 
The whole scene is a disgrace, rather distasteful. To say the least, they'll do the most to get paid. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much saying they'll, they'll, you know, they'll like compromise themselves for a bag. I know money's needed, but what happened to the days of saying fuck these labels? I hope they pick me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that shit is crazy right there, man. Like those days are gone, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Like people, like you know, like you know what I'm saying? Like back in the day, they would say fuck labels, but a lot of people would get signed to labels. But now it's like I feel like in this market, there's more reasons to say fuck a label because you got social media, SoundCloud. You can get your, you know, you can get your music heard easily without having somebody push your shit. Um, pause. I hope they pick me. I hope to see potential being flushed down the drain. Well, I hate to see potential being flushed down the drain, but natural selection is beautiful when you wait. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these people jump on a label because they're just ready to get signed. And Bones is saying, like, the beauty of it, when you wait, you know, things happen for you. And he's like, weed yourself out, bitch. Weed yourself out. Sesh to the death of me, bro. Like, you know, so he's saying, like, smoke yourself out if you feel that way. But yeah, that was L2I, another fire track from Bones, man. Next, we got Tim the Toolman Taylor. I'm not sure if this is fan created or what, but no, I think it might be official. I'm not sure. Y'all let me know. So let's go to Tim the Toolman Taylor. Another one we did a reaction to as well. Let's get it. That's fire. Salute the fleece again. So that was Tim the Tool Man Taylor, obviously from Home Improvement and everything. I don't know if you guys watched that growing up. I know I did. You know what I'm saying? They even talks about his neighbor and everything. Like when he said, you can't see my face, his neighbor always was talking from behind the fence and everything. You never got to see his face. I think there was one episode where he did like show everybody his face. And I think he like had like a cut on his lip or something like that. I think it was like one episode where he did, they did show his face. Y'all know that, man? Back in the day, man, you know what I'm saying? You had a whole bunch of like, like on what, cow and chicken? Cow and chicken, you never saw like the um, you know, you never saw like the parents face, and then like when you got Proud Family, you got Wizard Kelly, you know what I'm saying? You never saw w Wizard Kelly's face, you know what I'm saying? But he was kind of like the Michael Jordan, you know, had all this money and everything, but you know, it was just a mystery. I don't know if they still do that in today's shows and everything, but that always left it to your imagination what they look like. And then there'll be like an episode where you actually do see them, but no one's really seen the episode. It's not a popular episode. I'll show you for like a brief moment. But all right, so. Once again, bones in that bag, man. You gotta take your shot. Razor in my motherfucking trench coat. Timothy the tool man Taylor never seen my face like I live next door. And that's what I'm talking about. The neighbor. You never see his face. And then you hear the uh like I don't know if y'all caught that. He even had that he had that part, you know, from um, you know, home improvement. Equip one click and I'm ready to swiftly let this vest go. You know what I'm saying? Let it go. Better get back when I let go. Dead man switch in active mode. Motherfucker talk a lot of shit. Um, till I reach for the mist and they flip, you know, what, till I reach through the mist and they flip, you know what I'm saying? Reaching through the mist to get them or whatever. I don't know if he's talking about 
like reach through the through the mist with the damn knife, the pistol. I don't know, man. Bones is creative with these words. You know what I'm saying? Flee from the scene, not a word. Plead the fifth. You don't see bones, but he see you. He see you through the fog. He see you through the mist. He sees you. You are not alone. I can feel your breath. Like he's right there with you. Summon me from ash. Maybe I will let you live. You know what I'm saying? You bring me to life from ash. Maybe I'll let you live. You call me. The legend of the underground tell you what it is to land in the sky leaping out of the abyss like he's always talking about doing supernatural stuff and appearing like as a dead as a dead boy or whatever you know it's, it's wild like his th that's what's so crazy about his style like it's like really unique because he's the only one that really talks this way and then he's like dying slow dying slow eyes low eyes low repeat the phrase i love you until i turn into a ghost you know what i'm saying i love you until i turn into a ghost now i tap into a different mode you know what i'm saying so he's like Bones on the block again. Now they on the asphalt. So obviously when I'm on the block, when I'm on the block, they get on the asphalt. You know what I'm saying? They get on the um, on the um sidewalk or whatever. Soon as I get to snapping, I don't just pass. I overlap y'all. You know what I'm saying? When I go in, I start overlapping y'all. I'm, I'm well beyond passing you guys, man. I'm I'm lapping you over and over again. Then he's like, bones on the block again. Now they on the asphalt. Soon as I get to snapping, I just I don't just pass. I overlap y'all. You know so. Tim the Toolman Taylor, another fire track from Bones, another one of my favorites from him, man. The next track we have is Roaming, and like I said, we did a reaction to this one as well. That's how I kind of like, you know, biasly knew this this album was gonna be fire because you got stuff like this, you know what I'm saying? So let's get it. Roaming is fire, man. Salute to CMP on the production. Fire track. Salute to CMP, man. Track is fire. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that right there was Roman. I enjoy that track too. It's so wild, man. It's like so much heat up here, and I didn't even realize we reacted to. And just to have it on one, you know, project is crazy to me you think the heat will be split up <laughs> but yeah so um yeah so like i said i enjoyed this track man. i enjoyed it when i w did the first reaction to it. it it was it was fire to me so um you know he starts off with the chorus and it's just like it just gets you lit knock knock fuck it i kick in the door just like who won it knock knock fuck it i kick in the door just like who won it knock knock it's just like he's getting you right man and he's like, ever since my birth, I've been knowing what I'm worth. You know what I'm saying? That's very important, man, because a lot of these kids, when they grow up, they don't know their worth because of the upbringing, you know, that they come in, you know what I'm saying? The way the parents raise them and everything, that's why they end up self-conscious and everything. It all starts with, like, their surroundings and everything. You treat a child with love, they're going to love themselves. You tell them that how much they're worth, you let them know they are enough, and that really, you know, because their brains are still forming. So he's like, ever since my birth, I've been knowing what I'm worth. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> um, he was like, nothing, not not something. I shall remain until the dirt. You know, so he's like spending the narrative. Not nothing, not something. I shall remain until the dirt. I know you're bluffing. I call it long distance Wi-Fi roaming. You know what I'm saying? Like long distance Wi-Fi roaming. I know you're bluffing. That right there is tough too. You know what I'm saying? Because he's talking about like just like roaming, long distance bluffing, like. I don't know. All right. Fuck what I just said. Okay. Like he's like, I know you're bluffing. I call it long distance. I got that part. Wi-Fi, I guess that's long distance in Rome. Okay. So I get it. So when you're long, all right, I just connected them all. Okay. Cause I was trying to see what the connection was. I thought I had it, but then when I read it again, I was like, no, nah, that was wrong. So in my opinion, I think he's saying, I know you're bluffing, call it long distance. When it's a long distance, it's far away. You know, Wi-Fi is not connected. You know what I'm saying? It's connected you know, through like cellular data and then are roaming. When you're out somewhere far, your phone is roaming. So that's the correlation between the three. That's what I think. I just had to take a second. That's why y'all saw me just kind of staring. And then he's like, don't matter what kind of zone I'm in, home in on you and I'm zoning. So that makes sense too. It doesn't matter what kind of zone, you know, what kind of zone I'm in. You know what I'm saying? Like all that stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? When I hone in on you and I'm zoning, you know what I'm saying? When I got you locked in, it doesn't matter where I am because I'm going to find you no matter where you are. You know what I'm saying? That's why he's like, you can call it long distance, call it Wi-Fi, or call it Roman. I don't care. I got it, y'all. And then after that, he's like, knock, knock, fuck it, kick it to the door just like who won it. Knock, knock, fuck it, kick it to the door just like who won it. It's so crazy. The song is so short, and I had so much trouble breaking that part down right there, man. That shit, wow. Bones be throwing me for a loop sometimes. And then sometimes with his bars, I'll be overthinking. Then somebody in the comments will be like, nah, low, it's X, Y, and Z. Oh, my bad. Nah, low, it's A, B, C. And I'm like, dang, I want this whole trans of what I thought he was talking about. And it was really the the simplest part that I overlook. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of times we complicate shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm I'm very, very notorious for that, man. I will overthink until I turn blue in the face, man. Like for real, it could be something simple. Like if I'm fixing like my car or something like that, I will sit there and I will overthink. And then maybe I'll go, maybe I'll go in the house or something like that and let a day go by and I just sit there and I'm like, hold on, let me check this. You know what I'm saying? Cause I remember like my car, like it just wouldn't, I don't know what it was. Like when, now, I was on my way to work and I was like running kind of late. A little story time. I was running kind of late. So I put my car in neutral, you know what I'm saying? Instead of park. And I don't, I don't got a stick shift. It's like an automatic. I put it in neutral and then I'm trying to turn the key to get out and it wouldn't come out. And I'm like, why the hell my key won't come out? You know what I'm saying? Then the dashboard was still lit up. I was like, well, it's in park. The dashboard turns off. You know what I'm saying? The key wouldn't come out. So my dumb ass running late for work. And then this is me knowing me. I'm like, the dashboard is on. So I ripped the key out, right? Stupid. I ripped the key out. Like, I forcefully pulled the key out of the out of the ignition. All the lights are still on the dash. I'm running late for work. I was like, man, I'll deal with this shit when I get out of work. Get out of work, man. Get in there. Bitch won't start. And I'm like, man, I know what it was. And I look, man. I'm like, dang. Then I realized that I didn't have it in part. I was talking to my homeboy. And I was like, yo, man, I did like forcefully pull the key out. He's like, Lo, this is a dumbass question, bro. But did you put it in neutral or did you put it in part? I was like, man, I know I put it in part. And I looked. I was like, ah, shit. He's like, you just put it in part, didn't you? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you probably just need to jump. I was like, all right, cool. So I had somebody come out, give me a jump and everything. The jump wouldn't work. You know what I'm saying? They could, like, it cranked a little bit, but then it kept killing the battery more and more. So I'm like, dang, man. So, like, my, my car put, went into, like, this little lock mode. You know what I'm saying? Like, like somebody was trying to break into my car, but it was me. And it was stuck in that mode. Then it, it was just, I ain't even going to get into it. It was a really long story. Long story short, I ended up... End up I didn't end up getting home till like 9.30 at night. And I think I got to that car at like 2.30 in the afternoon. So I was out there like for like seven hours, man. Like dealing with AAA, dealing with tow companies and all that stuff. It was a really, really, really late night. But I say that to say this. Just need to replace the battery. That's simple. I took him to my mechanic. Told him all the stuff I tried. He's like, yeah, hello. Um, you just need a new battery. I was like, nah, I shouldn't need a new battery. He's like, yeah, that's exactly what it is because everything's working now. Gave me an oil change and all that other stuff like how he always does. Shouts to um 757 Auto. Shouts to them. But yeah, man, always getting me right. The homie Dustin. But yeah, y'all, let me go ahead and get up out of here. So look, so today, this is the these are the three for today. And like I said, I got y'all. Part four is at midnight Thursday. Part five is at midnight Friday. So y'all make sure y'all hang around. And I know some of y'all, man, with the time difference, man, y'all gonna mess around and see all the videos probably within the next eight hours because of the time zone you guys are in, man. But salute to y'all, man. Appreciate all the support. Thanks for bearing with me.
through like you know what I'm saying like we we've been busy this weekend man we had family reunions we had birthday parties and that's the reason why like my parents came down and everything and my family they all came down for like you know people from my wife's family came down for the family reunion on my side of the family my nephew had his birthday party it was just a whole lot man and we really made the best of it. we really made the best of like our time together so of course, salute to Cleveland, y'all. If y'all know me, y'all already know that's originally where I'm from is Cleveland. I reside in the 757, so shots to the 216, shots to the 757. Y'all protect your peace with your peace. Stay away from negative naysayers, and I will see you tomorrow at midnight. Love you guys. Y'all be easy. Peace.